Hello there everyone, my name is Saad Amutal and today I'm gonna talk about my topic determining empirical formula from percentage composition. An empirical formula is a chemical formula that so that that shows the simplest ratio of the relative numbers and kinds of atoms in a compound. An actual formula, which is completely different, shows the actual ratio of elements or ions in a single unit of a compound. A single unit of a compound. You can use a percentage composition for a compound to determine the its empirical formula. There are three ways to solve. Three ways to solve to get the empirical formula. First, you convert a percentage of each element to grams. That's first. Second, convert from grams to mole using the molar mass of ele of, of each element using the conversion factor. Third, compare these amounts in moles and to find the simplest whole number ratio among the elements. I have an example here. Chemical analysis of a liquid shows that it is 60.0% carbon, 13.4% hydrogen, and 26.6% oxygen by mass. Calculate the empirical formula of this substance. First of all, assume 100 grams. Sample and convert the percentage to grams. First of all, carbon, what's this? Carbon, which is 60.0% times 100 grams equals 60.0 grams of carbon. That's for carbon. And now for hydrogen, 13. 13.4% times 100 grams equals 13.4 grams of hydrogen and now oxygen 26.6% times 100 grams equals 26.6% mean sorry grams of oxygen do not make the mistake that can be that's the, that's converted from a percent times 100 to the grams. That's how we get it. Now convert the mass to each element from from of each element into the amount in moles using the reciprocal of the molar mass. First of all, look at the grams. We erase this too, so we can have room. 60.0 grams times 1 mole of carbon over, first look at this, over the average atomic mass of carbon from the periodic table which is 12.01 grams, uh, grams of carbon, that, then we'll cross these out, and that will equal to 5 Point zero zero mole of carbon. That is now from grams to mole. And now thirteen point four grams of hydrogen times one mole of hydrogen over the average atomic mass of hydrogen from the periodic table, which is one point zero one grams of hydrogen. E and that will equal to 13.3 uh, sorry mole of hydrogen that is now oh, sorry gram cancel those out don't forget and that is equal from grams to mole and now 26.6 grams of oxygen times one mole over the average number mass from the periodic table which is 16.00 grams of oxygen cross those out and that will equal to 1.66 uh, mole of that is equal to mole of oxygen and then don't forget to cross these out 
don't forget okay that will uh, that's a big big mistake but please look at this those numbers are not in whole number the only number that's in a whole number is carbon which is 5.00 now currently the empirical formula is carbon 5 hydrogen 13.3 and uh, oxygen 1.66 now we got those we erase these we can make more room for the other calculations now we, give, now we bring that by to get a whole number we bring uh, 5.00 more of carbon over the simplest number which is the smallest between all the three elements which is 1.66 over 1.66 and that will be equal to 3.01 mole of carbon now we bring the hydrogen 13.3 mole of hydrogen over 1.66 which is the smallest and that would equal to 8.01 mole of hydrogen and now oxygen 1.66 mole of oxygen over 1.66 that is obviously equal to 1.00 mole of oxygen and now to write the new empirical formula now we've got the whole numbers the new empirical formula equals carbon 3 hydrogen 8 and oxygen 1 which we don't write now that is the empirical formula from this question which is 60.0% carbon, 13.4% hydrogen and 26.6% oxygen that's the percentage composition thank you for listening I hope you learned a new variable lesson today and you and I hope you get it easy like I do thank you